Hello everyone, cool one one seven seven here, and welcome back to another video. Where today we're gonna be taking a look at one of the biggest hidden side sets of all time, which is the Lego Hidden Side Mystery Castle. And of course, you can't see most of it on this screen just because I don't have a ton of space. But this is the set we're gonna be reviewing today. Now, I was originally gonna do a time lapse video of me building this, just. I don't have a lot of space in here right now, so I'm just gonna build it off camera and then I'll show you guys it. But first I wanted to just show you some of the box, obviously. So this is the mystery castle. Uh, and this was part of the wave three hidden side set line, which unfortunately will be ending in 2021. So whenever this video releases, who knows, maybe it's already gone. This set uh, is massive and includes Six minifigures, three of which are the bad ghosts. And, of course, there's also Vaughn, who is technically not bad, but he is a ghost. Um, and this set is just huge, so I'm really excited to get to build this. Uh, and it looks like it's going to be very detailed, so I'm super excited to see how this whole set comes out. So, I'm going to get to building this, and then we'll get right into the review. So, let's get right into and it and now the set is fully complete and it it's massive i mean this is the biggest hidden side set i have built right now and i think it's probably gonna be the tallest of all of them if i gotta be completely honest and i think it's also gonna be the widest out of all of them because this thing can get very big once you break it open so first off let's just take a look at these six minifigures here first we have yvonne here which is the same exact minifigure that we get in the supernatural car or whatever it's actually called uh, but it's the same exact font which is a little disappointing i would have liked to have gotten some sort of variant maybe a black coat variant could have been really cool but i guess that would blend in too much then of course we have parker she has a second face she's a little bit more chill and of course her phone and her hair which i like this version of parker quite a bit and then we have jack uh with his current serious face and he does have his stereotypical smiley face there. And he has his backwards cap, which I really like him in this outfit. I don't think it's my favorite. I think I like Wave 1's version a lot better, to be honest. Then we have some Shadow Walkers, which apparently are different than the other ghosts that we've seen in the line. Uh, but these are the Shadow Walkers. They have some weapons, but they're sitting in the castle. So I didn't feel like taking them out of the build. But they're very simple, to be honest. Uh, they use the clear heads, which is cool, or translucent heads, and they just have a nice deta detailing on the torso there, which is very nice, and even some back torso printing, if you guys can see it there. And then we move on to the guy who, whose name I cannot pronounce, so we're just going to call this the King of the Castle. Um, and the King of the Castle is quite an awesome looking figure and very menacing with his awesome torso uh, connection piece here, which looks very, very evil and maniacal. And this piece on the bottom, which actually gets reused for Mysterio in the 2021 uh, Spider-Man set, which is very cool in a green, which will definitely be worth checking out. But this figure's uh, use of this part is super, super cool. And I can't wait to put him into the scene because he's just going to look even more menacing once he's up here in the castle, which I'm very excited to show you guys. But yeah, so awesome six minifigures in here. Definitely going to be cool to set up a little scene in this like I have with the rest of my hidden side sets. But now let's take a look at the set. So as cool as the minifigures are, of course, the set is massive and it's beautiful in all of its unique ways. But first, let's break down what I didn't like about the build process of the set stickers i mean i had two sticker sheets that i had to use and i don't think it was necessary for a lot of these things especially on the windows in the back if you guys can see them those were kind of a pain to get centered on there and i don't think i even did a great job and with them being clear backdrops it just was not needed they could have definitely printed it i would have preferred that so much more and they even use that same technique up at the top here on the windows of the tower so it's just overall kind of a pain to to put those stickers on and i just was not happy with that at all 
Now, for the rest of the build, it was fairly simple, just very time consuming, if I'm gonna be completely honest. And I'm fine with that. I'm fine with a long taking build, but this one was pretty simple. I only had two missing parts, which is quite a lot, but I did improvise and it looks completely fine. You can't even tell. Uh, so I'm not upset about the two missing parts. Of course, it would have been nice to get them, but uh, I, I'm not upset. Now, into the actual build, it's definitely, of course, that menacing gray and black uh, color scheme within the tan astronomy tower on the side. And this is a very compact build with a nice center area and very limited play features, which, of course, is something I actually look for in a set. I don't like them cramming play features into a set if it's not necessary. And in this set, it's just not necessary to have a bajillion play features in it. It does have one play feature, which we'll get to in a little bit, and it also has the little uh, color wheel on the top here, which is very hidden, actually, and I'm very happy that they did that because I know they struggle to hide the color wheel sometimes, so I'm very happy that that's not showing as much. Now, you might be a little bit concerned about this set because it's so compact. How are you supposed to play with this if a kid were to have this? Well, it actually nicely opens up right in the middle and you can just see how massive this set is. It almost spans my entire area right here. And I mean, it's packed with detail on the inside here, which is just perfect for playing with. Um, we've got some jail cells here, which are easy to get to from the back. We've got some features along the side here, just so many ghoulish looking things. And it's just super cool. And you can definitely get a better look at this front section, which they actually have you build up most of this first, which I was a little bit confused with because I noticed that it was fully enclosed. And this is not enclosed. So you do have that courtyard sort of feel when it's closed. But then when it's open, you have more of the interior look at it, which is cool. I like that they did that because I think if they had left it with this force to be closed, I don't know that this set would have been as good just because you would have had to reach into here to play with it and things like that. So it definitely gives you that playability feature while also being able to be displayed nicely. I think mine will be displayed shut like I've been showing, but I think it's very awesome that we have this feature. Now, another nice thing I like about this set is that the ghost features are hardly noticeable unless it's open. So you can barely see the ghost features unless you kind of like look into here. So you can barely see them when they're like that. And then when you open it up, you can definitely see that it is, you know, that mystery castle, that haunted sort of castle feel. And I really like that. So it makes it easy to hide the ghost things almost. Um, and yeah, I really like that. Now, turning this whole thing around, you can get a better look at the interior which is quite lacking if i'm going to be honest i've seen what the inside of this looks like before but i don't remember it being quite this lacking there's not much in the front here i guess you could put you know the guards or something standing here just very guard like if you will but i mean that's boring um and i just don't like how little amount of things there are in this space they could have used it a lot better now this right here is the access to the play feature which gives you the ability to drop this floor which i'll show you from a little bit more of a top-down view so you can just drop that floor down so that the newberry uh ghostbusters if you will can't get to them so maybe that would stop them i don't know that it would they're a teenage group of ghostbusters i don't think they're gonna be scared of a little floor dropping so but the detailing definitely shows on the top floor here with a little uh, throne, a piano, and a little collection here of some goodies, which we actually see this piece here in the fire truck set. So I'm wondering if that's somehow connected in any way. But this interior is very lacking, and there's not much more when we go to the other side. Those, These right here are the swords for the guards, which are very cool pieces and again, hardly noticeable. And then there's a little book and candle up here, but not much else. The jail cells don't have anything in them. And even in the astronomy tower, there's not much. A bucket, a broom, 
a table and a chain. And then the actual top of the astronomy tower does have quite a bit in it, but still nothing too crazy. Now, of course, I'm not too upset about the interior being so lacking, considering I'm not even going to see it because it'll be pressed up either against a wall or the side of uh, a shelf here. But I do wish they put a little bit more detail into it. I feel like they didn't need to put these pieces here and they could have put something else like a clock or something like that because we've seen them build clocks in this style before uh, and I would have liked to see one of those in this set. I also would have liked to see some more at least effort in the jail cells because like I said there's nothing in the jail cell whatsoever so even if there was just like some water on the ground I think I would have been a little bit more happy. I'm just overall a little bit disappointed with their overall execution on the interior. But the exterior is stunning. I mean, this is probably one of the best castles we've gotten in a while, which there's not much competition, but it's definitely one of the best ones I've personally seen. The use of bigger pieces and curvature is just really cool, and it doesn't feel forced on the build either, which I really like. Sometimes it feels like they're trying to force the ghost aspects on it, and this one, it doesn't feel like that at all because it's all crunched down into the interior here, which is very awesome. So hidden while it's in courtyard mode, if you will, and then you can just reveal it when you want to play with it, which is very cool. I really like that. And like I said, I like that there's not many play features in it, to be honest, just because I feel like that would force the detail that they put into this to be out of the way. I mean, I just really like how much detail is packed into this, and I hope that in future sets, considering they're not going to be doing any more hidden side sets, I hope that in future sets they try to keep this level of detailing because now they have this as competition for, for future castle sets. So if they plan on bringing back knights anytime soon, they've also got this to compete with, which is a very awesome set and definitely worth the hefty price tag. I think it's probably one of, if not my favorite, Hidden Side set, I wouldn't say it's my favorite. It's definitely up there, though, as one of my favorites. I just have a few more that kind of are cooler, in my opinion. And this one is very beautiful. It's probably one of the most beautiful Hidden Side sets out of all three waves. But this one definitely could have a little bit more into it. Less stickers, a little bit more interior work. And I think I would have been 100% slam dunk, no competition out of the park home run would have been my favorite hit inside set of all time but unfortunately it just is lacking in some of those departments and that would that's what makes me a little bit annoyed with it but overall i did enjoy building this set i love the minifigures that come with it i love everything about this set just those interior designs and the stickers but let me know what you guys think about this set in the comments down below. Have you built this one before? Have you not? Do you like it? Do you not? Considering buying it now that you've seen this video, let me know. Let me know whatever you guys want in the comments down below. That's all I've got for today, guys. Make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing if you're new around here. I don't do a lot of reviews, but I am going to be releasing a ton of videos in 2021 that I think you guys will definitely enjoy. So make sure you consider subscribing if you're new around here. For now, this is Cool1177 saying, this set is awesome, and over and out, guys.